Hi, my name is Candace Mosley, and I am a graduate student in the Masters of Science Interdisciplinary Studies program in the Department of Organization, Workforce, and Leadership Studies. I would like to welcome you to the Online Graduate Research Forum for Spring 2020. The title of my practicum is Community Engagement. Statewide Intake said yes. yes. The purpose of my practicum was to gain experience in a leadership role within an agency that provides protective and preventative services to vulnerable individuals, children, and families. Based on this, I did my practicum at the Texas Department of Family Protective Services, which is also my current place of employment, where I work as Intake Specialist 3. During my practicum, I had three objectives. My first objective was to expand my cross-cultural global awareness. Here, my activities included researching an underprivileged population and coordinating a donation drive to collect needed items. My second objective was in intellectual development. Here, my activities included attending various leadership meetings related to providing services for the vulnerable and at-risk population, helping to present on reporting suspected abuse and neglect involving children, attending professional development trainings, and in addition, I was able to create a presentation request document that is now being used within the agency. My third and final objective was career exploration. Over the course of eight weeks, I shadowed tenured workers in CPS, APS, and prevention and early intervention. This provided me with the opportunity to meet face-to-face -face with individuals who receive services through DFPS and learn more about the different state-ran programs offered here in Texas. These objectives contributed to my career goals by allowing me behind the scene access to see how a state agency plans, develops, and implements programs and policies. Now I would like to share with you three short stories about my experience during my practicum. As I previously stated for my cross-cultural awareness objective, I coordinated a donation drive. I decided to collect toothbrushes to donate to donate to Front Steps, which is the local nonprofit organization that provides services to individuals experiencing homeless, homelessness in Austin, Texas. To advertise the donation drive, I sent out floor-wide emails and posted flyers around the building. In order to increase participation, I offered a $20 gift card to the unit that donated the most toothbrushes. Just as I had expected, my colleague's competitive nature came out, and by the end of the drive, I had collected 1,548 toothbrushes. My practicum supervisor said this donation drive was the most successful one hosted at statewide intake. My second accomplishment that I'm also proud of is earning my certification in mental health first aid. During my practicum, I was able to attend a training where I learned ways to assist individuals who might be experiencing a mental health crisis. This certification will be useful when dealing with members of the public who have various mental health diagnoses. My third and final memorable moment was during my very first week of the practicum. I went with my practicum supervisor to present to medical social workers and a group of geneticists and childhood endocrinology endocrinesiology doctors at Dell Children's Medical. I wasn't sure how much I would be utilized during this presentation. However, my practicum supervisor allowed me to answer a few questions asked by the audience and give input on the presentation. I remember being so nervous and thinking to myself, well, at least if I pass out from my nerves, I'm in a room full of doctors. <laughs> but thankfully, I kept both of my feet on the ground throughout the presentation. There are still aspects of my practicum I believe will interest you, and I hope that you would keep watching. During my practicum, I referenced a book by S.M. Panzer titled The Psychology of Citizenship and Civic Engagement, which I believe contributed to my intellectual growth within the context of community engagement. Panzer discussed the benefits of community engagement across the lifespan. During my practicum, I saw this theory applied as I shadowed a worker in the Prevention and Intervention Department, also known as PEI. This department oversees a program, a program called HOPE, which stands for Healthy Outcomes Through Prevention and Early Support. This program is community-based and provides child abuse and neglect prevention services to families who have children between the ages of zero to five years old. The data has shown the earlier prevention services are put in place for at-risk families, the better the odds of the family's resilience to overcome challenges. 
Panzer also mentioned how individuals have the tendency to do better when connected with others. The Helping Through Intervention and Prevention, also known as HIP, is a free voluntary program that provides family assessments, parent education, and basic support needs. This program lets families know they are not, they are not alone and there are resources available to assist in multiple ways. Community engagement also helps to lower crime rate within the community. PEI also oversees a community youth development program. Here, the focus is to provide juvenile delinquency prevention services in zip codes across Texas where there is high crime rates and additional risk factors impacting the youth. Based on these insights, Panzer helped me further my understanding of what is possible when a community works together. During my practicum, I learned a lot about myself within the context of SWAT. Starting with my strengths, I realized I had the motivation to learn as well as lead. During my practicum, I enjoyed going to various meetings and trainings. I would always take a pen and notepad with me, jotting down any new information I found interesting and wanted to learn more about. I would meet with my practicum supervisor weekly, and during this time, she and I would discuss various topics around leadership and how to apply different principles and theories. These interactions helped reinforce my desire to continue learning. Thinking back on my weaknesses, I would say that depending on who I was around, my confidence level would fluctuate. I would sometimes feel myself second guessing if I should speak up or ask a question out of fear of how I would look to others. I believe though, as I continue to grow and develop professionally, I will become more confident in my abilities. An additional weakness of mine is my inability to speak more than one language. Uh, while going out meeting with families, I realized if I were bilingual, especially with Spanish, it would help me connect more with the population, with the percentage of the population we serve. The main opportunities for me during this experience was the ability to network and attend numerous professional developments. I was able to speak with program administrators and supervisors from different departments and agencies that I might not otherwise have gotten the chance to. I have kept in contact with some of the, in, with some of the individuals I have met and hope to continue developing a working relationship with them. My threats going into this practicum were my lack of leadership experience. However, I am aware that no good leader developed overnight. Based on these insights, the main takeaway I learned during this experience is to believe in myself as well as my abilities and to ask for help when I need it. Moving forward, I plan to continue to work for DFPS, but in a leadership capacity. I love working for DFPS because I feel that the work we do there really does make a difference in the lives of others. I intend to apply for a supervisor position. However, in order to be a supervisor for the department, all candidates must first take a supervisor assessment. I originally intended to take this test in April, but now with everything being shut down due to the coronavirus, I will have to reschedule for a later date. I could be upset or discouraged, but I choose to take this as an opportunity to continue to study the material. In light of my experiences gained during the practicum, I feel confident I am in the right profession. I know with my willingness to help others succeed, as well as my determination to advance in my career field, I will one day be able to lead others. others. On the YouTube page below, please indicate your anonymous preference for this practicum by clicking on one of these two icons. Also, please post your comments or questions in the YouTube comment section below, and I will respond to your inquiries posted between April 1st and the 14th through this webpage. Thank you for watching my video presentation here on the OWL's YouTube channel.